Ain't that something? There. Now to submit and... Peter! How you doing, son? Robbie, hi! I know this is out of the blue, but I wanted to let you know I just sent in a photo for your open call. Wonderful. We can definitely run this. I gotta duck into a meeting. But if you find the beating heart of New York anywhere else, send them my way. It's good to hear from you. You too, Robbie. Thanks. talked about going here. She'd walk across the bridge every Sunday to get the freshest vegetables in the city. But one time, she was late and the guy in front of her bought all the tomatoes. And that's how she met my grandpa. Anyone feeling that heat right now? I know I am. Luckily, if I get too toasty, I can pop into the bodega for some sweet, sweet AC. While that may be true, their ACs are cranked up to freezing, so you might want to bring a jacket, which you won't be carrying in this heat. I'll be honest, folks, Taylor doesn't have AC, but the airflow is very pleasant. And when that door opens up, you get that gust of wind carrying the smell of fresh hot dogs. Oh, gosh, there's nothing better. Chili dog or plain? How does it look? Was that good? If it's great, post it. If it's not, let it die. for the ages when it was just David versus Goliath. But when Tails had to deal with the bodega copying his success by using the exact same mascot, it stepped up to a whole nother level. That should work for Robbie. building it in 1901 finished in 1909 i thought it was old when i was a kid but now it's just amazing the history that's in this city to New Yorkers. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to be funny there. If there's a good time to be had, they'll find it. <laughs> That's right, people. 
77 dogs in 10 minutes. <laughs> and they were footlongs. Not bad. I'd love... Hey, you pay for that photo, Spider-Man? <laughs> dips his hot dog buns in tomato juice before eating it. Now, I get that it makes it easy for them to go down, but tomato juice? Brother, that ain't right. That should work for Robbie. Was that a good photo? Post it online! Ah, here we go. Now, I'll admit, I first walked into his shop because of all the articles about his new flavors. But his traditional ones would have kept me coming back. Sometimes a classic is a classic for a reason. When my son was growing up, I helped coach his youth baseball team here. Every game we played, the parents talk more trash than the kids. Myself included. Watching the other players trash talking and the sound of rubber hitting asphalt. There's a reason they call it the city game. Let's go see. That should work for Robbie. people who ride into the bugle, and a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing, but saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true. About that.
Sometimes, I worry with all the terrible things that happen in our city. People be afraid to leave their homes, live their lives. But not today. Sorry. He must have been. I'm not bad. In New York. Oh. What did I say? Sorry, dealers. Protesting isn't just the constitutional right in New York. It's your civic duty. Especially when a multinational corporation is behind a bioweapon unintentionally getting released into the city. For the man who has the impudence to fancy himself above the fairest of human nature has sunk immeasurably below it. Eat cat. Oh, oh do you do headshots, Spider-Man? They could actually use a new one. The one day I just stage or in the open air. Where else can you see legends and soon-to-be legends performing every day? London? That's really far away. Honestly, we need a whole other photo series just on New York's music. The impact the communities have built, it's outright brilliance. It's hard to encapsulate in one photo, but this isn't bad. kid paint to this I remember her showing me a sketch of it the day before it went up New York is nothing without its people Spider-Man aren't the only superheroes in the U.S. Getting students to class on time? One of the greatest powers I've ever seen. That should work for Robbie.
know, I saw an old Grand Master playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. Can't keep boss to a kid who lives down the street from me. Damn. Never seen anything like it. Say what you will about social media, and I can say a lot. It's helped so many businesses stay afloat here when they would have gone under a long time ago. It's no problem. It's no problem. It's just a little fender bender, you know? Okay, so just, uh, just relax, okay? I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna call That's perfect. where everyone's comfortable calling out when something's wrong. People here sure hate admitting when they're wrong. The writer in me does look behind. can't be understood by the conscious mind. But you still get that for Spider Bros. Well, well, well. Spider-Man with Shutterbug. Hey, Robbie. You got the photo? I think it's a good one to close my submissions with. Yeah, it's fantastic. But I'm a bit surprised you're stopping now since you left out two of the biggest parts of New York. The Spider-Man. I mean, I don't know if they're that big. And they are kind of controversial. Everything I see in these photos. All the stories and history and life. None of them would still be here if it wasn't for the Spider-Man. I hope they know that. I bet they have some idea. Well, thanks for the photos, Peter. You've always been better at this than you give yourself credit for. I don't think that... Thanks, Robbie. 